Until now, we have talked a little bit about emotions, moods, we also have defined ourselves some basic emotions. Now, in this video, I would like to talk about the function of emotions. So, basically, why do we have emotions or why we are given these and what they can be good or what they can be bad for? Well, we have two opinions or two streams of research. So, here we have our first one and this is our second one. So, according to one stream of ideas or one stream of research, emotions and rationality are in conflict and I have forgotten T over here, so let me put it. So, here should be T. And that if you exhibit emotion, you are likely to act irrationally. So that in other words, if you are about to cry and you are on some business meeting, you should rather leave the room and not let the others to see that you are going to express this emotion and that you are going to cry. So that, to repeat it again, emotions and rationality are in conflict. Now, the second stream of ideas is that emotions are actually critical to rational thinking. So that without the emotions, we would not be able to uh, perform the rational thinking. Now, you have the idea of the two streams that are out there. Let's think about the story of Phineas Gage. This is a very interesting story and I would really encourage you to uh, search for it. There is a very nice article on the Wikipedia. So, on September 1848, Iron Bar flew through his skull. I think it looked like uh, it, it went from the low left jaw up to the top, so it looked something like this, but those pictures are not very nice and for that purpose I have picked one <laughs> which is sort of a neutral, but this is a Phineas Gage. Now, he survived this injury. He as well was quite okay, he was able to read, he was able to speak and as well performed well on cognitive tests, so everything seemed fine. However, he lost his ability to experience emotions and so he was acting emotionless. This is quite interesting, it does not happen that often and that's why this story is so interesting. Now, he drifted from job to job, he was unable to hold the relationships. So, as you can see, the second idea that emotions are actually critical to emotional thinking, uh, to rational thinking, is really supported by the story of Phineas Gage. Because, as you can see, everything was fine, he was able to read, speak, perform well on the cognitive tests, he just lost his ability to experience emotions, and so he was acting emotionless, and due to that, he was not really able to live normal life anymore because he drifted from job to job and he was unable to hold the relationships. So, what is the outcome from this story and from this video? Well, we must have the ability to experience emotions to be rational. 